get ready with me to go nowhere and yet let's talk about a big life decision and answer all your questions about it. My dogs are snoring, burping, farting. Who says I'm not a mother? Am I in my workout clothes? Are we about to put a full face of makeup and talk about me getting my tubes tied? Absolutely. So let's get this party started. I thought it would be more fun to do makeup as I talk about this subject and answer your questions. Do makeup because I need makeup because look at me. I asked you guys on Instagram, you know, what do you want to know? You can ask me questions. So I have all of your questions and that's what we're going to do is sit here and put makeup on and answer your questions because like I said on Instagram, it would have been amazing if I would have had somebody in my life that was knowledgeable about all of it. And so I'm just gonna do my regular routine today. I wanted to play with color. So we're gonna be doing some pinks and glitter today to make ourselves feel beautiful. I got my tubes tied a year ago and I did a whole video on why I did it and uh, why I made that choice for my health and all that stuff. So if you want to know those details, go watch that video. Uh, but this is going to be basically just a one year update. I'm just using the Ciate Everyday Vacay Powder to powder down my moisturizer because like I've said in several videos, I've really been loving this little makeup pack. So it's been a year, March 5th was a year. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna do an update video. I'm gonna talk about what it was like the whole year. I can't believe it's been a year. And then I chickened out because I remembered how mean people were to me on the internet about making a choice for my own body and my own health, so. Then I, ch uh, yeah, I chickened out. So here we are. Uh, I don't want to be a chicken. And if you want to be a troll, you'll just get blocked. So I'm using the Pixi Glow Mist Setting Spray. Basically the rundown is I have an autoimmune disease and it would put my health at risk if I were to have a child and it would put the child's health at risk. And my doctors and I decided this was the best route. So here we are. After the surgery it was really, really difficult. It was extremely painful. And then realizing like, I don't know anybody that has gone through this who is also like childless. I don't know any other woman that's done this. So that started feeling really lonely. I never regretted my decision at all. I know it was the wisest decision to make. In the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Power Primer. I always call it a primer serum, but that's not the name of it. Anyway, I wish I would have known somebody or had some guidance or something like that. It's just a weird pivotal point in a woman's life when you decide you're not gonna have kids, whether you are sick or healthy, whatever the case may be. It's crazy. It's a crazy wild ride mentally and hormonally. So well, I'll get into that. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Illuminating Primer all over the high points of my face. So hormonally, my hormones were at crazy out of whack for when I was on birth control for, you know, 14 years, I think. And so my body is never really even, I had like one, I had a few really bad periods when I was, you know, started my period and then had to go on birth control to uh, control that because I was getting like, I couldn't get out of bed. It was awful so got on birth control so my body really hasn't known how to support itself hormonally as a woman or go through periods without them actually being fake because when you're on birth control you no know, it's when you have your period it's really just your body going through a withdrawal state so it's not even like a proper period you know my dogs are snoring burping farting who says i'm not a mother hormonally it's been strange but i was able to keep my hormones in check with uh, alani news balance i've been on balance since day one i made sure that i bought that before i got my tubes tied and started it and i've been on it for a year and my periods have been regular you know normal not painful so i'm really thankful that there was a product out there like that i'll link it below balanced it's called balance it keeps you balanced who knew foundation today i'm going to use the pat mcgrath skin fetish foundation in the shade light medium 11. is this too dark the thing about self tanning is like you self tan and then it's like you, you got to wear different foundations all week because your skin 
tone changes. So let's get into your questions. But before that, I wanna say I've been loving using the Fenty Beauty Match Sticks Matte Stick in Amber as a contour. At first, when I first tried this, I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be really like, it's gonna turn my skin ashy. Since it's so cool tone, it creates a shadow instead of like a bronze, you know, which is the point of contour. And I always have used two bronzy of like contours. A lot of you sent in just like, why can't people be supportive? And like, I love you, I support you. So thank you to everyone who sent that. Like as a question, I really appreciate it. It was really, really sweet. It comes from Kaisel Jan. I am not saying that correctly. She says, <laughs> uh, any hormone changes? Absolutely. Mine really came from, I mean, you're gonna have hormonal changes when any type of surgery goes on down there. Uh, but the biggest thing for me was the birth control hormonal changes and just getting everything in order where it should have been. Dude, I didn't know until I got this done that birth control was so, so bad for you. It's so, so bad, but it's like, we don't really have that many options, especially if you're going through like painful uh, cycles and all that stuff. Like it's it's hard to, as a woman, to have another option. It, it really does help the pain. It's so bad for you. Okay, Hourglass Vanish Concealer, because honey, we need to vanish these dark circles. And I've been liking, I saw this little TikTok hack where you just take your concealer like up, really cake it on, kind of lifts the eyes and I need that right now, for sure. So those are the hormone changes. And um, you know, of course, if you get this done, speak with your doctor about that stuff because I was fortunate enough I didn't have to get on synthetic hormones. I don't know, I may have to at one point in my life. I know a lot of women do, um, but for me, balance really helped. So next, Yolanda asked, is it reversible? So what I ha had done is not reversible. So I think some are, but they like cauterize and clamp, it's done. Like it was a done, done decision because for one thing I didn't wanna, I don't wanna, there is like a risk. There's a higher risk when a man gets his stuff snipped of getting pregnant and that was my main thing is I wanna lock it down, I wanna have control and know peacefully, you know, cause I'm making this decision for my health and to make sure that I don't end up dying or a child dying because I'm pregnant, you know? Um, I know it's a really low chance, but it happens and a lot, I, I say a lot. I got about four or five messages saying, yeah, after my husband got snipped, we had a, an oopsie child and I'm like, Ugh. Wow. Yes, this comes from Aubrey is me. Do doctors give you a hard time about it when you ask for a tubal? Yes, I got such a hard time. I had to wait, but I had to wait a few years to even just have control over whether I was going to be able to get this surgery or not. Even though my rheumatologist was all for it in support, you know, you need your gyno surgeon to be on board too. I'm gonna put my eyebrows on and off camera. This takes me way too long, but I am using a new brow gel and it's the M Cosmetics uh, brow gel in clear and it is incredible. It's got this tiny, tiny, tiny foolie. That was, that was, uh, I'm gonna put my brows on. Then maybe my brain will come back in my body. I forgot to say that I fill my brows in with the Hourglass Arch Brow in Platinum Blonde. T. Da said I had a salpingectomy after three kids and have had zero side effects. Have you had side effects? I don't even know what that is. I will look that up. Yes, the side effects are hormonal rebalancing you know, and being a little emotional. But then at the same time, I wondered like, am I emotional because I just went through a big th step in my life as a woman or am I emotional because of my hormones? It was just a lot. Let's do something fun. This is brand new. This is the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the shade Magenta. I really like applying uh, caviar sticks over like concealer and not having any, you know, eyeshadow base down. This color, look at it. I'm so excited. I have been loving the new shades that they uh, came out with. So I'm gonna go ahead and go a little heavy near my lash line. Oh man, this is pretty. And then I, these are so beautiful. I just blend up and out. 
Look at that, it's so pretty, it's so pretty. And you can build it up or leave it sheer. I'm gonna build it up because I just want some impactful color today. L Ramos 74, how has getting off of synthetic hormones affected your sex drive? Sorry if TMI. No, this, great question because I feel like as women we're so ashamed to talk about sexuality and all this stuff, but men can talk about it all the time and it really just grinds my gears. I feel like my sex drive after getting off of synthetic hormones it has been a lot better. I didn't know it was like, it wasn't, not that it wasn't good, it's just, it's been a lot better. I feel like because my body has naturally balanced itself and it, it's kind of come into its own with, you know, uh, a, a sexual drive, you know, it's not relying on other hormones in my body to process that kind of thing. I feel like it has, I feel like it's helped. So great question. I'm gonna take it on the lower lash line. Oh, that's so pretty and like springy and who am I, girl? I travel by bubble, no question, just respect for making your own choice about your own body. Thank you, that's really sweet. And I, one thing, like sharing this journey, I didn't expect so much negativity, like all the negativity that I got was a lot. And I was shocked and I was like, whoa, I'm just trying to, you know, share my story and be helpful a little bit. Okay, this is a really good question, this next one. Uh, how, how does being off birth control change your body and ability to tone up like you have? Okay, so this is something I didn't know, but really quick. Um, and that came from Mrs. B. Vaughn. I'm gonna use this palette. I've been using this a lot lately, I know. But this is the Valfry Electric Garden palette and I'm going to use the shade Azalea and go right over and blend out this uh, caviar stick. I don't have to, it's great on its own, but I just wanna like have like a bit more pop. I'm taking that on my Mac 217 and uh, just taking the excess off on the back of, or on my thumb and I'm just going to blend this all over. See, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so what I didn't know about birth control was that it actually affects your body's ability to, there we go. That's always just like a nice guide. I love doing this because it's a guide for me to see like the shape that I wanna create with my eyeshadow. Cause I've quit baking underneath my eyes since this little trick. So this is as much as I'm gonna do. I didn't know it actually affects the ability, your body's ability to uh, create muscle and build muscle and maintain muscle tone. And I do think, even though I was on a fitness journey like already, I had already like, uh, you know, lost a significant amount of weight. I actually only weigh uh, two pounds less than I did when I got my tubes tied. But I have been able to build so much more muscle because I haven't been on birth control. And I am highly, highly, highly convinced of that. I'm just gonna take a clean blending brush and just go over that. It's weird blending over eyebrow hairs because when you grow your eyebrows out, they have, it's like, oh, is it blended? But I love that look of like blended eyeshadow over eyebrow hairs. So I'm gonna build up that pink a little more because why not? I'm gonna take the Refer brush in 01. I'm loving Refer brushes. They are so beautiful and so nice and they were very kind and sent me a few to try out and they are so soft, so amazing. And I love the matte black. I just feel like a professional when I use them. I'm gonna take this and it's great, this, this brush especially for like hooded lids because I like to lay color down and then I can, I can actually open my lid and then squiggle more pigment directly into my crease. My friend Laura, L. Milo 23 asks, do you still have to be on birth control at this point? I do not, which I'm very thankful for. I am so glad that I made this decision just based off of being able to get off birth control. It is that intense. Birth control is such an intense thing. And, you know, growing up in the 90s and, and 2000s, birth control was just like, oh, you got this, you got, you know, you got bad periods, everybody's on birth control. Like it was just handed out like candy. I'm glad that there's more information about it now 
because it is not just something that you just want to willy-nilly get on. Keg Melly, has it affected your chronic illness management at all? Not really. I, I didn't really notice a difference with that situation. I, for worse or better. It's probably better because I'm not on birth control. I'm taking the refer brush in O2. It's like a smaller, flatter version of this and it's perfect for my little baby lower lash line. And I like how I can use it like this because it's so thin or I can, you know, apply more product just by changing the angle. I haven't really noticed a difference with that, but like I said, I'm pretty sure being off synthetic hormones has helped my chronic illness management. For one thing, losing weight and getting healthy did, and I feel like that was definitely a part of being able to, like I said, maintain muscle mass and maintain a healthy state, so. And I'm not judging anyone if you wanna be on birth control, by all means. Like, I'm not anti-birth control. I know it's sometimes the only option. I'm just saying, I'm just sharing how it has, you know, affected my life being off of it. One, two, three. Okay, I'll answer two more questions. We have uh, Kimber2675. I didn't realize I had so many questions. I just took a screenshot of all the questions. I didn't realize how many I actually got. Um, she says, love you, Mallory. Love you too, girl. Do you have to take estrogen supplements now? I don't, which I'm very grateful for because I know that there's other people that have to go that route. I am very grateful. I don't, I thought I was going to have to but I don't. So far, so good. And I'm glad because that means that my body's been able to kind of bounce back and figure its crap out. Last question comes from Kay Karepsley. Have you noticed more or less bleeding uh, or cramps during your period? I have noticed a less, well, no. I would say I would have noticed more, more bleeding, but less cramping. I will take that. That is fine with me. Basically, every question I could think of. If I didn't answer a question, obviously, let's talk about it in the comments below. And like I've said before, comments, I love the comment section because I feel like that's a whole other video in itself because you can find so much help in comments on videos. So make sure to leave a comment or ask a question if, you, if I didn't answer it. Of course, I'm not a health professional or anything. This is just my experience. Okay, now I'm going to take the Sigma Large Powder Brush, and I'm gonna bronze up my skins. I've also been taking my bronzer instead of just like right here. I've been taking it higher up on my on my cheeks, and I really, really like that effect. Big thing that I forgot to mention, which I, cause I've talked about it so much in other videos, that's one thing, a video like this, I'm like, oh my God, it's so much to process, it's so much to talk about, and then I forget so much, it's just so much. But the big thing that I forgot to mention is hair loss, I lost like half my hair, I had to cut it off. And if you've been around, you know that that has been quite the journey. And here we are with short hair. Really hard, losing all my hair and all that. And then just, oh, it was a lot. I'm gonna use the two blushes, Buxom's blushes and Mykonos and Havana. Use Mykonos first with the Refer 05 brush. This brush is, so, their brushes are so soft. Mel Thompson uses them in anything she likes, I like. I love these blushes. And like I've said in recent videos, I've been going a little wild with blush and I'm, I'm letting myself, I don't care. I'm taking Havana just to cool it down just a little bit. I'm gonna go on the other side of this brush and blend. And then I'm gonna take what I used my bronzer with and just go over those two and blend them. Lily Lashes Miami Light. I love this style. I've been wearing them constantly lately and I've been getting a lot of questions and it's it's these. They're just very, they almost look like lash extensions. Aren't those lashes pretty? Can't deny it, can't deny it, can't deny it. So while that glue is settling down, I'm gonna go in with Lemonhead LA's Face Paste in Adult Film and I'm just going to apply this as my highlight and I'm using the Zoeva Smudger Brush. And these glitters have like pink, green, it's kind of like a party glitter. Like My Little Pony. Party time brows. Okay, now for highlight, I'm gonna take my Glow Getter palette from uh, Private Society Cosmetics. And I'm going to mix Candyland and Champagne Showers. And this one, I'm just gonna, like this. And I'm using the Refer Brush in 04. I've been loving using this as a highlight brush lately. It's like kind of the perfect, look at that highlight girl. 
It's the perfect uh, size for my cheeks. You could use this for contour and things, but I really like it as a highlight br 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 brush. I'm going to take a toned down pink approach. I don't really like pink lips on me. I'm gonna use the KKW Beauty liner in Nude One. So lips are lined. Now I'm taking the Laura Mercier Laura Extreme Matte Lipstick in Vibe. It's just such a pretty like, it's almost like a vibrant pink nude, but it's not too crazy. This is the look that we created. I'm having fun with color. I hope you enjoyed this mashup of a get ready with me to go nowhere and yet let's talk about a big life decision and answer all your questions about it. <laughs> I told you guys no questions were off limits. So, I mean, obviously I said be respectful and you were and I want to thank you so much to all of you who were very respectful and no one was hateful in you know, the Instagram questions. I love Instagram because everyone seems to be a little kinder over there. Thank you guys so much for watching, listening. I hope this was helpful in any way, shape, or form. I said I was nervous about this, but I feel better now. So thank you all for the love that was sent my way. Remember, as a woman, it's still tough for us no matter how, I mean, we've come a long way. But still, the judgment about our bodies and all that stuff is still crazy there, and that's crazy to me. But just remember that you're valuable no matter if you have kids or not, or whatever you want to do with your own body. You're valuable and you're loved. And um, I don't know, I just, I don't want anybody feeling the way I felt during that with comments and things or whatever, so... I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one that won't be as emotional. Okay, goodbye.